Sai from Sai Cycles. I'm out on the Salt Creek bike path out near Oak Brook or Hinsdale, Illinois, out near 294. It's one of the little shelters that uh, I've always wanted to come stealth camp. And sometimes people will have fires going here. It's really cool in the fall or winter. But this concrete roof i think it would be just awesome to strap a hammock on and camp here although i've never hammock camped i'll try i love camping so uh, let me get my bike set up yeah Eddie. So I was thinking earlier that I would like to talk a little bit about Eddie Merckx. See my Maltini jersey. You may know Maltini was Eddie Merckx's race team that he spent the majority of his, or a great portion of his racing career on. Who's Eddie Merckx? Um, the GOAT, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, as far as bicyclists. People know of Lance Armstrong, and at one time before they knew he was confirmed to be a doper, they thought he was greatest of all time for winning the Tour de France. One race, one, he focused on one race. I never was a Lance hater, but I was always a Lance doubter. I looked at Lance and uh, other people came out of the closet and admitted and confessed that they were doped. They were doping. Pentani, uh, all these people in the pro peloton 20 years ago. And Lance Armstrong maintained, nope, not me. Uh-uh, no, they were doped, but not me. It's like, hold it, let me get this right. They were doping, and you weren't, and you were stomping them. Sober? Nah, 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 dude. Uh, not buying it. Never did. Never did. So, yeah, the truth is out. So anyway, Eddie Mertz. Eddie Mertz. I write a Mertz. Eddie Mertz. Uh, this actually is an American-made Lightspeed. It's a Mertz Titanium made by Lightspeed in Chattanooga, Tennessee, designed by Mertz. But Eddie Merckx has built bicycles since the early 1980s, late 1970s in Belgium. Greatest racer ever. Won five Tours de France. Won five Giro d'Italia. Won the uh, Tour of Spain, the Tour of Switzerland. Okay, those are what they call the Grand Tours. And those are, you know, 2,000 mile races over the course of two, two or three weeks. The Europeans race a lot of also what they call the classics, the one-day races. They're long, they're hard, the day starts, and at the end of the day, whoever's across the finish line is what is important. And there may be a couple of hundred people in the peloton riding 175 miles in these races, and nobody has to hold off or let off because they got to get through the mountains next week, or, oh, there's a time trial tomorrow. These are one-day races, and Eddie Merckx just dominated those. So he wasn't just a Grand Tour rider, racer, dominator. His nickname was the Cannibal, Le Cannibal. Uh, Eddie Merckx set the one-hour record, just the man against the clock on a bike, on a velodrome in Mexico City. What's the furthest a human being can pedal a bicycle in 60 minutes? He set the hour record. So, very diverse. So, Moltini was the team that he spent most of his career on. Merckx started racing, he was born in 45, started racing 16 or so? Yeah, about the year I was born. Uh, turned pro in 65 and just dominated until, you know, pretty much when he retired in 1978, started making bicycles. 
But what I wanted to talk about was my dinner with Eddie. Let's see, Eddie Merckx retired about 78, 1978. Nine years later, 1987, I was at the Interbike Bicycle Dealer Show in Long Beach, California. And a friend of mine was repping, he was a sales rep for Giro, for Oakley, for uh, an importer called Gita Imports based out of North Carolina. Gita, G-I-T-A, this stands for Giorgio Andretta. That's the owner of Gita Imports. Gita Imports was the importer for Eddie Merckx and Pinarello and I don't remember, some other, some other frames as well as Campy parts. Dude, that dude is just ripping through there on electric board. So my friend was repping, he was a sales rep, he was an independent sales rep, and he also rep for Gia Sports, importer of Eddie Merck's bicycles. So my friend Brian, at this trade show, we were in the hotel after the show was dismissed and over, and uh, Brian's like, hey man, we're going to go out to dinner with Eddie after a while. Stick around, stay close. I might be able to get you in with us. It's like, no, come on, come on. So I stayed close, we're around the hotel. Uh, Jock Boyer, Jonathan Boyer was having a retirement party. Greg Lamont was there, Steve Bauer was there. Um, so I stuck close and sure enough, man, about an hour, hour and a half later, we load into this minivan. This is 1987 and keep in mind minivans were new about 1985 or so. Minivans were really small, they were pretty, pretty malnourished at that point little four-cylinder motor in this little minivan that we had like nine people in i mean we were sardined in there giorgio andretta was driving eddie Merckx was in the front seat it's like pinch me is this real and brian and me and four or five other Gita sales reps were sardined into this little minivan so Georgia drives like a bat out of hell to this restaurant that we were going to, a Thai restaurant somewhere in Long Beach. Or, and uh, so we go, we eat, and all night long, Giorgio and Eddie were pretty much speaking Italian across the table. Didn't really talk to him a lot, but dude, you're sitting there right across the table from him. Eddie and Giorgio probably drank, you know, four, five, six, seven, who, who was counting? Uh, Coronas and we get Dawn and we're leaving so Eddie Merckx the goat the greatest of all times the competitor the cannibal he's not going to be outdone so Eddie takes the keys from Giorgio and Eddie's going to drive so we all sardine in there Giorgio's in the passenger seat Eddie's driving and if, if, uh, if I thought it, uh, if I thought Georgia would drive like a bat out of hell on the way there, nothing, nothing like Eddie. So we're on our way back to the hotel and Eddie is just driving like crazy. We get to this one light, this one stoplight, and it changes from, from green to yellow. So Eddie decides, okay, he's gonna stomp on it and accelerate through it. The problem was this was a generation one minivan with a little anemic four cylinder motor, and it was overloaded with thousands of pounds of people sardined into it. It was underpowered and overweighed. And he stomps on the accelerator and the thing just screams and makes a whole bunch of noise and goes nowhere faster. So Eddie bails out and decides he's not gonna make it. And he locks up the brakes, there was no anti-lock brakes, skids sideways, and we skid up onto the crosswalk. So the van, minivan is sideways in the intersection. The back of the minivan is up on the crosswalk. If anybody was waiting across the street, they would have been wiped out. <laughs> Light changed to green. He took off, went back to the hotel, and we all lived to tell about it. But that was, that was my dinner with Eddie, thanks to my friend Brian in St. Louis. Just a phenomenal experience with Eddie Merckx. I forgot to say, 
Cy from Cy Cycles in Oak Brook, Illinois on the Salt Creek bike path. Don't forget, four wheels move the body, but two wheels move the soul. And to Eddie, to Giorgio, to my buddy Brian in St. Louis, and to all of my YouTube viewers who are just going to see this sometime. Ciao. And P.S. Don't care if you like or subscribe. I may not post anything again. Who knows? I'm just a bike geek and motorcycle geek who loves this stuff. So, having some fun. Comment if you want. But, just go out and go for a bike ride. Go and go for a motorcycle ride. Just have some fun. Ciao.